Hello, good evening, my friends. I hope you can be better than yesterday. Buenas noches, espero que estén mucho mejor que ayer. I know yesterday was a very difficult day. And now, well, it's Tuesday. All Tuesdays are better than Mondays. That's it. So, Raquel, hello. No, Raquel. No, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. So, you prefer Mondays? No. Bueno, tampoco ha sido como que el mejor martes. No, <laughs> not the best, but it's better than Monday. Al menos los martes son mejores que los lunes, no. No, no para, no para nosotros en nuestro trabajo, porque venimos trabajando toda la semana, viernes, sábado, domingo, entonces el martes ya andamos reventados. 14 días seguidos. Okay, entonces ya right. como que martes, <laughs> miércoles, ya... Good uh, evening. Hello, good evening, Joan. Ok, yes. Okay. I have worked like that, well, eh, with that rhythm, con ese ritmo, and I know it's very hard. I yes. Know. So, well, I hope you can have some vitamins. You can eat healthy food, try to sleep at least seven hours or six hours, and don't go to parties at night at least these days. Portense bien estos días. No gaste mucha energía, Joa. Okay, so that's it. Um, so here we have also Wilfredo, Marduqueo, Rosie with new hairstyles, right? Even in teacher. No, Wilfredo. No, still Rosie. No, the same. Same, okay, it looks nice. Okay, so here we have also Carito. You look very playera. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> On vacation, almost, okay? Almost. Yes, uh, all of us need um, vacations, right? So that's it. So welcome everybody. Um, we're going to start with the class. The topic is simple present versus present continuous. It's a really important topic because we're going to have like comparisons between the use of these two uh, grammar structures. Así, así que vamos a, a pues a comparar el uso and because maybe there are some cases in which you could, uh, yeah, what, make mistakes. You can confuse a little bit, okay? So this is the class number 12, 12, 12. This is a really good number. And we start with this. Who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Or, okay. Better than that, mejor que eso. Um, are you the first person to arrive at your workplace? Es la primera persona en llegar al trabajo? Or maybe the second or the third? Or the fourth or the number 10. I don't know. So what about you, Raquel? Um, like four or five. You are number four. Are you sure? Yes, I'm very sure. Joanna, <laughs> <laughs> Joanna is number six. Okay. So, no, pero el que llega más temprano es el compañero Walter. No sé si ya vino a la clase. El Arqui. Es súper puntual. El mero arqui, el primero que llega. El mero arqui se me hace que, bueno, hasta aquí siento el sarcasmo. Thank you. So, okay, Walter has a very interesting fame. Tiene fama. Uh, okay, nice. Uh, okay, um, so, Joa, what about you? You are number five? Number seven? Uh, number three. Fit oh. Raquel. Second, Christian, and third, me, as you said. And third, and third, me. Okay. Okay. For the number three. Okay, perfect. What about Rosie and then Wilfredo? You are the number five to arrive at your workplace? What question? ¿Qué número de personas eres al llegar a tu trabajo? Okay. Um, I don't know. 
Okay. Uh, Wilfredo, what about you? Then Carito. The last one. The último. Como dice la palabra, los últimos serán los primeros, right? Walter. Okay. And Carito and Carla. I am the last one too. Really, the last why, Carito? Always. Uh, uh, almost time. Okay. Se le pega la cobija, Carito. Sometimes, but other days is the traffic is ter terrible. Yeah, the traffic is getting worse. Every problem. day, every day is getting worse. Yes. That it's well. That that's really really bad. So thank you, Carito. What about Besides, Carla? I hate to wake up early. I do. Yeah, nobody, I guess nobody likes it. Like nobody, but maybe uh, if you wake up early, you can take advantage of your time, but not always. It, well, I, I it doesn't know, depend on I you. Can't. No siempre, no siempre depende de, 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 de ti, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. Nice, Carito Tartista. Carla, and then Luis. Three, four. Really, Carlita, number three or four? Mm -hmm. Good, very nice. Okay, what about you, Luis? You are the number. Hello, teacher. I am the, the third person. Really? The first? That's yes. interesting. Very, very well. Luis, do you work with Raquel and Joa? No. Trabaja con ellas? No. 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 Okay. Thank you, Luis. Very nice. Okay, what about you, Steffi? And then what, uh, Carlos? Number two. Three. Okay, Carlos, and then William. I don't know because because they care are money. There are many workers. Okay, I understand. William, what about you? And then Gabriel. Good evening, teacher. Uh, la pregunta es con respecto a esto que está en la pantalla. Who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Ya, yeah, estamos hablando qué, qué número de, de, de empleado eres al llegar. Uh, en este caso creo que soy el primero porque es mi propio negocio. <laughs> Okay, well, good for you. So it means that you're very responsible. Yeah. First, <laughs> you need yes. to. No, you have to. Tienes que. That's it. Yeah. Okay, good, William. Very nice. What if we listen to Mardoqueo? I don't know why I think Mardoqueo is very responsible. I think. Good evening, teacher. No, good evening. Le lately, lately. I'm the second. Ah, oh, you're the second, but that's yeah. a good number. Nice. Okay, very good. What about Gabriel? Um, I am like number five. Number five, okay. Aunque a mí me toca abrir, pero siempre llego, llego como el quinto, por así que llega. Los haces es esperar para que suba. Sí, los hago esperar un ratito. Okay. Okay. And Jackie, are you there? So for you, Jackie? No. Okay. I'm going to present some of the adverbs. Le voy a presentar unos adverbios. Y ustedes intenten memorizar con siempre. Ustedes tienen una gran retentiva. Okay. You are very intelligent. And you can memorize some of these verbs. Okay. So I'm going to show you like in five seconds, try to remember one or two. Okay. So let's listen to Wilfredo. Tell me one. Solo memoricé Exten, el primero. Exten, ok, good. Ok, very nice. Steffi, and then Martoqueo. Weekly. I'm sorry. Weekly. Ok, 
Eh, Mardoqueo and Luis. Careful. Careful. Okay, Luis and Carlita. Really, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Nice. Carlita and William. Really, eh, accidentally, creo que decía. Accidentally. Accidentally. Okay. Good. Nice, thank you. Okay, William and Edwin. I am lost, teacher. Sorry. Okay, and no problem. Edwin and Raquel. Edwin. Okay. Eh, ando perdido, teacher. Okay, no problem. Raquel and Oscar. Um, quiet. Good. Oscar and Carito. Eh, good evening, teacher. No puede visualizar. Acabo de entrar. Okay, nice. Carito and Rosie. Okay, solo una. Yes, or two. If you have. To. Okay, anywhere, never. Happy. Ah, la copiaste, Carito. Mm, no. Trampa, trampa. Ajá. <laughs> ya ve, teacher, usted en el concepto que me tiene. No, pero es que estás así leyendo. Ajá. No, estoy con el celular que Lisa no podía entrar. Ay, ah. Ok, te creo. I trust you. Ok. No le creo. Ya me puso chat. Ajá, ajá, carito. Que tiene cara de inquieta, carito. Y puede ser la mexicana. Rosie. And then. Yes, Rosie. Really. Sorry. Really. Uh -huh. Ok, Mardoqueo, did you tell me one? Ya me mencionaste uno. Ok, Raquel quiere cantar. Right. Ok, here we have this. Adverbs, we have intentionally, we have lazily, never. Hay algunos que terminan en L y, y en la Y. ¿verdad? Some right. of them, yes, some of them are very clear or logical, son lógicos, but there are some others in which there are, uh, which you have to memorize it at all. Quite, mm, uh, somewhere, order, rather, never. So that's it, okay? So those are different types of adverbs that you can even notice, okay? We're going to check them later. In a moment, we're going to, to check them, okay? So here we have some other adverbs. If you see, list of adverbs ends. Que los, la lista de los adverbios que termina ends es un verbo. Lleva ese porque estamos hablando de la lista. Es tercera persona. Okay, list of adverbs ends in L-Y. Okay, pronounce one of them. Raquel, you start and then Luis. Select one, pick one and say it. Um. Dreamly. Okay. Luis and Carlita. Especially. Okay. Especially. Carlita, Gabriel. Exactly. Exactly. Sí. Exactly. Okay. Good. Gabriel, Steffi. Even. Okay. Steffi, Mardoqueo. Especially. Especially, ya la dijeron. Pero, ok. Mardo, Keo, and Carlos. Dearly. Really good. Carlos and William. Sorry. Ok. William and Rosie. Uh, Entry. Ok. Rosie and Wilfredo. Vamos, Luis. Ah, famously, good. Okay, famously. Wilfredo and Carito. Early. Okay, Carito and Oscar. Gratefully. Gratefully, good. Oscar, Elisa. Elisa, creo que eh, iba a reiniciar la compu. No sé si okay, eh, hello, Elisa. Okay. Okay, teacher. Eh, sería. Select one. Mm -hmm. Faithfully. Okay. Faithfully. Ah, uh, faithfully. Okay. Faithfully. Good. Eh, Joa. 
and then Adonai. Generously. Generously. Okay. Adonai and Edwin. Finally. Yes, Edwin. Okay. okay, nice. As you can see, there are a lot of adverbs in here in which you can notice the meaning. Say, Captain, for, for example, exact, exactly, okay? Mm, furious, furiously, okay? Final, finally, okay? Uh, well, any other special, special, excited, sadly, okay, sadly, and exact, exactly, okay. Ya saben que excitedly, bueno, excited significa emocional, right? That's excitedly, okay. Uh, entire, entirely. So there are some of these that. Well, most of the adverbs, you can add L and Y, and they are like adverbs. La mayoría son sustantivos o son adjetivos. Y, por ejemplo, famoso, famous, es un adjetivo. Le agregamos L o Y y ya se hace adverb. Okay. Mm, and that's it. Okay. Desperate es desesperado. Desesperadamente. Okay. So that's it como la misma lógica que venimos manejando de algunos adverbios. Ok, perfect. Thank you, we have some of this. Ok, Carito, can you help me with number one? Please read it. Uh, I'm going to show you what. Uh -huh. Ok, teacher. Adverb of time. The adverb that denotes time or period is called, called adverb of time. Ok, it's called. Cold. Cold, uh huh. Adverb of time, yes. For example, Carito. Today, tomorrow, yesterday, ago, soon, no, once, and since. That's it. All of them are adverbs of time. Of yes. time. Yes. yes, son los adverbios de tiempo. Okay, now let's listen to Eliza, adverb of place. Okay. Adverb of place. The adverb that denotes the place of occurring is called as adverb of place. Example. Example. Near. Example, near. Above. Below. Below. Uh, below out. For. Away. There. There. Thank you. Don't. Now. Other time and other place. Now let's uh, listen to Rosie. Adverb of manner. Adverb of manner, the adverb that not the manner of occurrence. occurrence. Adverb of manner. Examples. Correctly, wrongly, cleverly, lowly, neatly. Yes. Cleverly, clever, the listo, inteligente, loud. Loudly. Okay, thank you. Very nice. Now, uh, Mardoqueo, please, adverb of frequency, my friend. Adverb of frequency. This adverb denotes denot yes. frequency or number. Example, directly, secondly, hourly, sometimes. Sometimes. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, there are a lot of adverbs, hay muchos adverbios, but uh, the, main, uh, the main types are these, okay? Time, place, manner, frequency. Pero los que pues, se utilizan bastante y que se captan bastante son estos, eh, adverbs of manners. Y eso que hace falta los, eh, al, hay otros frequency adverbs que hemos estudiado, ¿verdad Raquel? ¿Qué otras hemos estudiado? Mention some others that we have said. Ajá, Raquel. No. You don't remember? Okay, no problem. What about Joa? And then Carita. Ajá. 
Eh, no me recuerdo, Ticho. Estoy buscando en mi cuaderno, pero no los encuentro. Busca en tu corazón y en tu cerebro. Ahí está la respuesta. No, oh. Mi cerebro no furula ahorita. Yes, come on. Ok, Sorry. carito. Always, sometime, never. Uh -huh. Cuando decimos seguido. A menudo se dice. Uh -huh. Ok. Often. Ah, ok. Pensé que no había dicho bien la respuesta. No, no, no era correcta bien. la respuesta. Ah, ok. Yes, your answer is correct. Uh -huh. And some of them. Todos esos, bueno, algunos de esos que ya los hemos estudiado. Ok. Very nice. Thank you very much. And we continue now. Okay. Um, before going to this, um, I'm going to check the attendance list. Okay. So you can have like uh, an idea how to answer. Okay. Uh, the question is, should all beauty pigeons be banned? Why? Why not? ¿Deberían los concursos de belleza ser eliminados, baneados? Yes, no. Why? Why not? Okay. But first, tell me hello if you are there. Okay. So we go first with Andres. Hello. Oh, Carlos. Hello, people. Okay, good, Carito. Present teacher. Nice, Edwin. Okay, Elisa. Present teacher. Nice, Steffi. Present. Good, okay, uh, Gabriel. How are you, teacher? Hello, I'm fine. Nice to hear you. Jackie. Present. Good. Uh, Patty, I don't know if Patty is here. Hello. Hey, Patty. Ya mejor, Patty? Sí, Better? sí. Yeah. Sí. Okay, very nice. Okay. Um, Joa? Aquí estoy. Father Carlita? Present. Nice. Kenia, do we have Kenia? Present, teacher. Vengo llegando. Ajá, ¿quién es? ¿Dónde venís? Hmm. De la iglesia, teacher. De la iglesia. Ah, ok. Mm. Just in time, Kenya. Really, Kenya. Yeah. ¿No te vi? Yes. ¿No te vi ahí? Ok. No, porque me salí. <risa> okay. Antes del tiempo. Se ganó, mira, el espíritu maligno. Ok. Luis. Ok. <risa> Present, teacher. Nice. Mardoqueo. I'm here, teacher. Okay, hello. Oh, nice. Mardoqueo, a question. Do you have a nickname? Have a nickname. Nickname, for example, Carolina, Carito, Joanna, Joa, like a short form of your name. Tienes una forma corta de tu nombre. Nickname son como los Mardo. otros. Ajá. Uh -huh. Mardo. Mardo. Okay, that's sí, good. Mardo. I like it. I like it. Can we call you Mardo? Yes. Sí, te podemos llamar Armardo, entonces. Yeah. Ok, that's perfect. Me recuerdo un grupo de metal que se llama Marduk, pero tú eres Mardo. Ok, nice. Um, cuando decimos nickname. Nickname. Uh, well, for example, Elisa, Eli, an example. Ok, Jacqueline, Jackie. Ok, yes. Um, okay. Es, es como, un, como un apodo, digámoslo así, pero es un... Es un un nombre, ¿qué? Como cortar un nombre. Pero los salvadoreños somos bien especiales para poner apodos. So that's why I don't, use, I don't commonly say eh, apodo, ¿ok? Porque hay apodos, <laughs> bueno, ustedes saben, right? So uh, that's why I, I say like a short form of your name, ¿ok? So that's it. Hay algunos que se llaman Juan Carlos y les dicen JC, JC, ¿ok? So those examples, ¿ok? Thank you, Mardo. Oscar. Raquel, a un compañero le dice finger face. Cree que no es mala. ¿Quién le dice así? La Raquel. Finger face. Y le dice que si ve este dedo gordo, finger face. ¿Es mala? ¿Y dónde la mira? Raquelita. Y con cara de inocencia. 
Sí, ahí la cambia, cambia la cara, ok. Ajá, Raquel, ya estamos conociendo. Okay. Ella okay. es, me está culpando a mí. Uh -huh. Ay, mujer. Oscar, hello there. I hear you. Raquel, ya me, sal, me dije, saliste ahí con finger. I'm here. Ok, Rosie. Hello, Rosie. Hi, teacher. Hello, Walter. Walter. William. Present teacher. Nice. Marvin. Present. Wilfredo. Hi, teacher. Present. Hello. Okay, nice. Wilfredo. Okay, Wilfredo, do you have a nickname? Tienes un nombre corto para Wilfredo. Te dicen Will, te dicen Fredo. O Freddy, no. ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te dices? Will Teacher. Will, Pero solo okay. Will Teacher. Bien, ok. Desde este momento te nombro Will, caballero de la mesa. El redonda. cacheteador. ¿Cómo le dicen? Will, el trapeador. Cacheteador. El really? cacheteador. Ok, Will. Como, como Will Smith. Really? Ah, ok, Will. So violent. Un poco violento este Will. No se metan con él. Ok. Should all beauty pigeons be banned? Será eso a good idea? Yes, no. Ok, so let's listen in this case to Oscar. Are you ready for saying your answer? Yes. Ok, go ahead. In, in my opinion, I am not very aware of that the beauty patient, but for me, yes. Yes, ban. Podrían ser eliminados. No problem for you. Yes, yes. for me, yes. Okay, nice answer. Thank you. What about Adonai? Dice Oscar que solo tiene ojos para su esposa. Okay, so Adonai. No. In my opinion, is that yes, beauty pageants are only marketed to sell the different brand of beauty items and not to highlight beauty. Okay. I would say that women are all beautiful without the need to be popular or famous. Famous, okay. Okay, very uh, nice opinion. So as Adonai says, it's just a form to highlight. Highlight is como sobresaltar, como que algo que sobresale, que resaltar algo. So maybe with this kind of uh, pigeons, um, girls are like, are in a frame. It's como un marco, digamos, right? In, in an idea of beauty and marketing. That's Adonai's opinion. Okay, good. What about if we ask to Joa? Okay, and, and in my opinion, it should be banned because it's held to rise a mistake idea about beauty is. Okay, a bad idea about what beauty is. Okay. The coming generation will grow out thinking about stereotypes. Stereotypes, okay. Okay. Yes, there are some stereotypes like ideas that we have about something, okay? In case of beauty women, should be all the ones that are skinny, like some bien delgados, or maybe they have a, a, a color, a color skin, okay? Eye colors, well, that's it. That's point of view, Joa's point of view. Okay, William, and then we'll listen to Luis. William, are you ready? I need a little time. Okay, problem. Luis, what about you? Are you ready? And then we'll go with Elisa. Oh, okay, teacher, in, in my opinion, it's not uh, because it is a way of living together and, and unit culture from different parts of the world. Apart from that, it serves as enter, entertainment, 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 entertainment for people who like this type of contest. Okay. Yes, uh, very in contest. 
Very nice, uh, Luis. Uh, that's another word. Yes, it's kind of, uh, Luis says that it's for entertainment and people can see it la, as, for example, the Oscars, right? So people are watching and knowing more things. Okay, thank you, Luis. What about um, Elisa and then Kenny? Okay. Should all beauty pageant be banned? Uh, personally, I think not. Why not? Because no one is forced to participate. And I don't see it more than as enter, enter, entertainment for people who like the type of contest. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nobody's forced to participate. Nobody, Nobody. has the obligation, right? To participate okay. well that's elisa's point of view so everybody's free if they want to do it they can do it okay so very nice elisa good and uh, now let's listen to um raquel and uh, uh, kenya kenya and raquel okay teacher uh, no because she's a young lady who who is representing uh, or country and so also no or culture the different countries okay. of the world okay it's a girl representing a country okay in showing the culture of uh oh yes of her country okay very nice thank you uh kenya what about okay. if we listen now to Raquel and then we go with Mardoke? Okay, I don't think so because it is an activity that many women enjoy doing. I only think it should be volunteer based because some mothers are known no. to force their okay. children no, no. to participate in these events. Okay, that's Events. It. Events. Okay, solo un detalle. I think so. Or oh, I don't think. Think, think. Okay, Raquel? Think. Because sometimes we say I don't think. Okay, but think. Puede ser con T o con Z. I think or I think. Okay. Nice. Yes. As uh, Raquel says, volunteer. It depends on anybody okay and a lot of okay maybe if we think um a lot of men like these events but a lot of women watch these events too right so maybe they have they have a desire a wish okay in this era maybe that they, they, they want to it's part of a dream Maybe it depends on everybody's uh, thoughts. Okay, Mardo, your turn. And then we go with Gabriel. I think not as long as they are done naturally, not oh. using cosmetic surgery. And oh. if it is a women's contest, there are really women. Bye. Mardo ha hablado. Okay. Yes, maybe nowadays we have, it is more common the plastic surgery, right? And it is like a standard established for beauty, but it is not naturally as Mardo, Mardo says. Okay. Well, another point. Thank you, Mardo. Okay. Gabriel, and then we go with uh, Wilfred. Okay, teacher, uh, in my opinion, I am not aware of what is said with this contest, but I would think that there is no reason to prohibit it, prohibit it, um, it's like, is the person is not general, I see no problem. Okay, I see no problem. I see no problem. Okay, good uh, words. Thank you. And we go now with Wilfred and then we continue with the class. Okay, Wilfred. 
Chadas, what's your opinion? In my opinion, this contest generates an understatement the intelligence of the woman. Okay. Okay, thank you. Underestimate, subestima. That's uh, Wilfredo's opinion, but this contest could underestimate women's intelligence, okay? Or women's point of view, okay? Uh, remember that all the opinions are important and I like to hear uh, what you have to say. So, así que, bueno, después continuamos. Thank you, Wilfredo. That's a good point as well. Now, here we have... Um, conversation between Ryan and Raul. So easily, we can notice that they are using present continuous, okay? They are using present continuous and we have it here. What are you doing? I am planning I am right now, okay? Ahora, ¿se recuerdan? Do you remember? Yesterday we were studying present continuous for future events. Estamos hablando de los eh, presente continuo para eventos a futuro. ¿Qué es lo que iban a hacer? I'm going to the beach this weekend. I'm going to take a tequila shot this Saturday or whatever. Eso es a futuro, ¿ok? Next Thursday, next week, tomorrow. Pero en este caso estamos utilizando present continuous for expressing uh, present actions, acciones presente. Okay, Edwin. Nice. Entonces tenemos acá now. Estas son las palabras clave. Miren. Now. Um, right now. Okay, and, and here we have like this. Yes, I guess those are the keywords. Son las palabras clave. Ahora dice acá. Buenas tardes, Raúl. ¿Qué estás haciendo ahora mismo? Right now. ¿Qué estás haciendo ahora mismo? Buenas tardes, Ryan. Bueno, o oh, bien. Estoy planeando una videoconferencia. Oh, la conferencia con el nuevo equipo en San Salvador. ¿Cuál es? Uh, ¿Qué está haciendo nuestro nuevo equipo ahora mismo? Yes, eh, sí, es, esa es. Ellos eh, se están alistando para la conferencia en el salón de reuniones. Mm, ya veo. Ahí sí. What time? ¿A qué hora usualmente? ¿A qué hora usualmente llegas a tu trabajo? What's for the first thing you do? ¿Cuál es la primera cosa que haces? Okay. Uh, I usually, ya se saben el usually, ¿verdad? Usualmente llego a las 6.30 y la primera cosa que hago, I do, is check my mail. Reviso el correo. And you? Bueno, um, llego a las 7, 7.30, depends on the traffic. Okay. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Mi primera actividad es levantar la, bueno, recoger la correspondencia o las cartas. Ok, aquí viene eh, la, el tema en cuestión. Here we have uh, present continuous. Todo esto es algo que están haciendo ahora mismo. Y esto es el presente simple. Donde simplemente son rutinas, cosas, hábitos, rutinas uh, diarias, como lo que ya hemos hablado. Check the mail, uh, send uh, reports. Uh, check the inventory, supervise, monitor, whatever. Son hábitos. Y para eso, hábitos o rutinas se utiliza el presente. ¿Qué es lo que hace siempre? ¿Qué hace? Ah, ah, bañarse, me baño, desayuno, ¿verdad? No están diciendo, me estoy bañando, me estoy desayunando. Okay? So, that's it. So, um, let's check the words that maybe are kind of confused. Right now, right now, right now. Ok, vamos a ver acá. Rachel. A ver. Rachel. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? ¿Esta? Conference. Conference. That's it. Good. Ok, uh, tenemos team. Um, hour. Ok. 
doing right now. Getting ready. La T suena como R. Getting, getting. Okay. Conference meeting room. Get to work. What's aquí? He escuchado varios de ustedes decir first. Yes. First. Con E. First. First. Second. Third. Fourth. Okay. So first. And arrive. Mm -hmm. Depends on, aquí está el depends on, my first tier is pick up, como los pick up, como los carros, pick up, verdad, pick up the letters, que significa levantar, recoger, that. okay, so for this, uh, we're going to have like two minutes, I need you to have a screenshot, Carito, could you help me, please? Can you Listo, teacher. Ok, very nice. Qué bien portada te veo, okay. te veo así como bien así. Okay. Siempre, siempre. Como chiquita bueno, regañada. Es que así la veo, no sé, algo, algo me la han hecho, Careto. ¿Por qué? Oh, no. Ok, so we're going to have this, uh, we're going to have this conversation, ok. Um, we're going to be in the, in the break our rooms. Si me esperan un momento, porque a veces cuando los pongo así, empiezan, hello, hello. Creo que se me, se me, me ponen bien intensos. So, uh, if you please could practice a little bit. Pueden practicar un poquito. We're going to, I'm going to buy your own for ustedes mismos. Ok. Me gusta variarlos eh, en, ¿cómo se llama? En, con respecto a los, a los equipos. Okay, to you. With the new team in San Salvador. What is our team? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. Mm -hmm. I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic my my first cambiamos cambiamos el, el, el. now yes it is they are 
Gering waited for the conference in the in the meeting room. I see. What time do you will arrive at seven o'clock or seven thirty? It depends on traffic. My first activities is to pick up the letter. Okay. Good afternoon, Raul. Where are you Okay, let's listen to Oscar. Hello, Oscar, are you there? Yes. Okay, Oscar, selecciona tres palabras subrayadas de las que están acá y me las pronuncias. No, no hay... eh, okay, conference, eh, right now, getting ready. Okay, good, getting ready, well pronounced, bien pronunciado. Solo acá, pues, eh, sería la palabra conference, conference. Okay, that's it. Uh, let's listen now to Carlita. Select two of these underlined words. ¿Dónde están las palabras subrayadas? ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo? Perdón. Cualquiera de las palabras subrayadas, selecciona dos. Eh, que la diga. Yes. Ah, ok, perdón. Conference. Right now. Okay, right now. Okay, good. Thank you. Very nice, Carlita. Okay, do we have volunteers for reading this uh, conversation? Volunteers, brave people, gente valiente. Okay, so here we have that. Thank you. That. Oh, we have we have like a lot of volunteers. Okay, we go with Carito and Mardo. Okay. Primero Carito va Carito. Mar... Carito con la compañera o Carito, yes, Carito con Mardo. Carito in company and then Mardo in company. Okay. Okay, are you ready, Johanna? Okay, I'm Carito ready. con Joa primero. Okay. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Raya. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is our team doing right now? 
Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's I, the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6 30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email and you. Well, I arrive at 7 or 7 30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Very nice. Okay. What fluency? Que fluidez. I like it. Tenía buen flow esa conversación. Nice. Solo un par de cosas. Ting. ¿Verdad? Ting. Sería esta. Y esa esta palabra es... me cuesta. No sé por qué la pronuncio mal. De verdad. Ting. Pero es como think. Solo que sí, en lugar pero de yo track, digo sí. Que... No. Vos decís time. Decís time. Eh. Yo yo time. Yo. Well, ok. That's it. Eso se dice AM. AM. Como que si fuera el, el alfabeto, el abecedario. AM. Ok. Think. Mm -hmm. That's it. Y eso nada más. Ok. Very good done. Bien hecho. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ok. Mardo. Ok. And Eli. Duo dinámico. Ok. Empiezo yo, Eli. Eli. Correct. Perfect. Good afternoon, Raúl. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Brian. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with a new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. There are greetings ready for the conference in the meeting rooms. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first, the first thing you do? I usually array at 6 30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 o'clock or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Very nice. Good. Good pronunciation. Ya ven, ya están agarrando más poder, más sabor. I like it. I like it a lot. And I was listening to some other uh, uh, teams. Estaba escuchando otros equipos. Van bastante bien. Siempre hay algunas palabritas que vamos a ir viendo, pero eso es de siempre. ¿Ok? Eso que no les detenga, que no les tenga nada. ¿Ok? Very nice. Veo un gran avance en todos. ¿Ok? So here we have questions. And for this question, I'm going to ask, in this case, to... Okay, um, let's listen to Carlos. Okay, Carlos. Uh, question number one. Who gets earlier at the workplace? ¿Quién llega más temprano al trabajo? Vamos a ver acá. Here we have two options. Raul or Raya. Raul. Okay. Here we have Raul. Right, because he arrives at 6 30. Okay, good. And Ryan at 7. Okay. And here we have also number two. What is the topic Raul and his team are discussing in the conference? Yes, so le vamos a preguntar a William. Okay, William. What is the topic Raul and his team are discussing in the conference? What do you think? ¿Cuál es el tema que están discutiendo en la conferencia? Okay, let me see. Mm -hmm. About the new team. Okay, what well, about the new team? Okay, thank you. Let's continue with this. Should all beauty pigeons be banned? Why or why not? Carito, ready for your show time? <laughs> Okay, teacher, let me see. Uh, my answer is sure. I don't think it is necessary to ban them. I don't really disagree with them. I don't really have anything against them. I, I don't have problem with them. Beauty. 
No, you don't have problems with this. Okay. Uh, do you consider uh, it affects people, affects generations, things? Yes, I agree with the In a way. answer of Joanna because there is a very delicate topic for uh, the young people and old people too. But there is another, uh, I don't know how to say, it. for example, uh, the influencers, influencers, the people have a plastic surgery and other kind of program, other kind of, I don't know, models, for example, that shame have stereotypes about the beauty, but you know what? Uh, a few years, I had a cousin that was a <laughs> in a beauty person in Colombia. She was a queen, queen. and in the in the Miss Universo was the second. Really? Wow. Really, really. So I uh, I think I like it. <laughs> okay. I yes, know. that's it. Yes. I, I like uh, see the los desfiles, the clothes, the, mm -hmm. the makeup. Yes, uh, but I, I agree with the other the other answer or the other the other opinions, the other aspects yes. of, of this topic. Yes, uh, I everybody guess. has right. It's right. Okay. Good. So now, if you notice here, I have changed minds or trending. Is the change minds, como cambia los puntos de vista, o cambia la forma de pensar. That is something that people who are influencers, even uh, it, it, you can see it in people in television, in movies, YouTubers, right? So they have the power of having or influence people in a positive or negative way. So that's it. Yes, for so. example, this this girl, a Mexican, uh, right? La de Baraboom, I don't know the name. She has a remember, lot yeah. of plastic surgery. And for example, la tal Anita that photoshopped his picture and plastic surgery, voila, before was now. <laughs> Poco agraciadita, and now it's wow. But algunos no podemos hacer nada. Okay, better as Mardo was saying, better natural. Okay. So that's it, yes. yes no nos queda de otra que ser naturales, <laughs> teacher. Okay, uh, maybe there are a lot of stereotypes. Hay muchos estereotipos que, bueno, también deben de ir cambiando. Right? To, Demasiados, and not only about plastic surgery, uh, to about makeup. Uh, makeup as well. And, and filters in the pictures. I yes, don't know. That's why I don't Estoy use perdida, any yo. filters. I don't use any filters. Para que me reconozcan en vivo. Me neither. Ajá, si me yeah. pierdo, sepan. No, pues sí, me pueden encontrar. Sí, pueden encontrarme si me pierdo. Okay, nice. Thank you, Carito. Uh, what about if we listen now to um, William? Now, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Please go. Okay. Um, my answer is no. They should not be provided in a certain way. It is also part of an effort be each of the participant to be able to get there. And besides, it is part of a training. It's part of a training. Okay, very nice. Good vocabulary, William. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, uh, what about um, Elisa? Ya me dice tu punto de vista, your opinion. Yeah, teacher. No, te I'm sorry. Okay, Carlita, are you ready? And then Rosie. Carly, my sister. Okay, Rosie, ta. 
Ready? Yes, teacher. In Please. my opinion, is yes. Because there are many women who suffer from bulimia and other diseases. Mm -hmm. Diseases. Diseases, okay. Oh, yes, uh, there's anorexia and bulimia. That is something that's a part of the reality. A lot of teenagers or even adult women, they suffer of that. So it's a, like a food disorder, but it has to do with the self-esteem. Tiene, tiene que ver con, con, con el autoestima, okay? It's mental health uh, also. Okay, Carito, tell me. Uh, about Rosita is talking about in Colombia there are a lot of a lot of girls and women that uh, have they suffer had no uh, dead how do you uh, say dead. and muerto yes uh, yes, yes. Uh, 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 have dead in this uh, plastic surgery um boobies and lipo and other kind of surgeries yes uh, died they have died. Mm -hmm. Porque dead es, es, como, es como muerte, okay? Muerto, uh -huh. diet. Yes, uh -huh. you're right. Okay. So, diet. so, yeah, I have seen a lot of news in which uh, the, some girls go to non-famous uh, surgeons, no. some doctors that they... Common people. They, yes, they're like common people. They have their clinics hidden, es, ocultas, like in secrets. Piratas. Yes, they're pirates. And the, 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 the cost is low. It's like kind of cheap yeah. un poco, oh, barato, but a lot of like, girls or, and women have died for that reason. Have died, yes. Definitely. Unfortunately, it is. So, well, part of the stereotypes that we were talking about okay, previously. Thank you. Very nice. And Carly, are you there? Lita? Okay. Um, what about Jackie? Jackie? No. Okay, Carlos? Yes, sir. Okay, my friend, please, your opinion. My opinion, no. It's because it is the word women's kind of more um, and more health beauty in world one. Okay, yes. I guess that there are different types of entertainment and a beauty contests have been like a tradition. I don't know, maybe the, the 50s, the 60s, okay? And it has been like, well, it has had, Ateneo, it has had like a big impact in the trending and the stereotypes of how we see women. Okay, like just uh, like physical appearance, and it is more than that, right? Nowadays, those contests have changed. So, so concurso han cambiado un poco because in the previous years there was just the, the physical appearance, right? Now they have like interaction, they speak, they have speeches, tienen discursos, and they, they show well different different things aspects, okay? But it doesn't mean that it is like innocence. Tampoco podemos decir que es totalmente inocente. Okay, so that's right. Okay, thank you. Um, we're going to continue with this. Okay, here we have. How to use simple present versus present continuous. So um, let's listen to your pronunciation. And I will listen to Luis. Can you help me with the first one, please? We use. We use simple present for general information routine activity. Okay, go ahead. And I check my emails every morning. Okay, continue. She writes report about me. Good. She audits in inventory. Inventory is good. Arrange. They arrange, they arrange meeting. Yes, they arrange meetings. Okay, very right. good pronunciation, Luis, good. So routine activities, things that you do 
from Monday to, 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 to Friday or Saturday, okay? And then we have on the other hand, here we have this, okay? Uh, what if we listen to Kenya? We use... Picture. Uh -huh. We use present continue for, for, ongoing. for ongoing actions at the time of of speaking. Of speaking, okay. Mm -hmm. Sigo. Mm -hmm. Please. I am uh, okay. I am planning a video conference. Conference. The, uh, conference. They are getting the documents ready. Ready. Doc documents ready. Documents Do ready. Okay. Documents ready. She is editing the information. The information. The secretary is making a phone call. A phone call. Okay. So thank you. Here we have a uh, present and ongoing actions. Que quiere decir acciones que se están llevando a cabo en este momento. Por ejemplo, Raquel está tomando. I don't know what. No sé qué está tomando. I hope it can be refreshment or coffee. And okay, ¿qué dice? Vodka. Okay, no problem, Raquel. And here we have, for example, um, Joa is smiling. Joana se está sonriendo. So, so those are things that happen in, well, in the moment. Y el simple present para cosas que hacemos, well, from, well, during the week, que ya están establecidas. Okay, now here we have this complete sentences in present continuous. Ustedes son expertos en eso. So uh, here we have the example. Thomas is printing the contract. Okay, uh, Thomas is printing the contract. Now here we have Cheryl, uh, he, I, she, they. Okay, volunteers for this. Remember, we're going to use verb be. Vamos a usar el verbo to be. Y también vamos a usar el, el verbo en ING. Ok, Carlos. Select one from two to six. Sí, sí, sí. Okay. Sí, sí, sí. Sí. Ok. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Carrying, carrying. ¿Cómo es mejor? Carrying of everything. Every ok, he is. Mm -hmm. Taking care. Mm -hmm. okay. Taking care of everything. Ok. Cuando son verbos que son compuestos, por ejemplo, eh, eh, work out, le había dicho, ¿a quién hasta le había dicho que work out es hacer ejercicio, ¿verdad, Elisa? Um, pero si le ponemos working out, I am working out, estoy haciendo ejercicio. Okay. Entonces, este es un verbo compuesto. Es, eh, entonces, esto siempre va a ser como un, una proposición. El verbo raíz es este, así que este va a llevar el ING. Ah, pues, en el caso de take care, es cuidar. Okay. Solo que no vamos a, a, car, a care, no le vamos a poner el ING, sino que así decimos. Ok. Um, let's see. And next. Pues next. We have two, uh, four, five, and six. Let's uh, listen. Number, number okay. six, teacher. Okay, uh, go ahead. They, they send it the product of the warehouse. Okay. Solo sending. Estaría así. Well, well, well. uh, they are sending. They are. They yes. are sending. Correct. Okay, good. Verb B, it's important. Thank you. Okay, who's next? Mm -hmm. Two, four, five. Thank you. Okay, let's listen uh, to Gabriel. And then Oscar. Gabriel, any idea? Um, two. Number two. Cheryl. Cheryl, 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 
is Mary. Yes. Thank you. With the boss. Yes. Boss, right now, uh, Cheryl se está reuniendo con el jefe ahora mismo. Okay. Very nice. Okay, Wilfredo, can you help us? And yeah. Oscar, four and six. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Oh, oh. Gabriel, desactiva. Yo te estoy desactivando el micrófono y tú lo activas. Okay. Oscar or Wilfredo, I don't know. Bien. Hey. Number four. Vamos, number four. Four. I. I. I are. I am paying. Paying attention to intrusion. Okay. Thank you. Good. Creo que estamos escuchando tu conciencia hablando de verdad, Oscar. <laughs> okay. I am paying attention to the instructions. Yes, estoy poniendo atención a las indicaciones. Cosas que ustedes hacen. Muy bien. And uh, Wilfredo, can you help me with number four? Uh, why? She's preparing. Uh -huh. The, the briefing. The briefing. Okay, good. That's it. Perfect. Well done. Okay, so no problem with this. I know that you have you have cleared this. Okay. Now a very interesting question. Okay. Yes, I like these questions because I can notice that you have different opinions. And that's good. That's healthy. It's saludable. Uh, to share different opinions. Yes, of course. So, okay, Oscar. Está fallando el internet, pero aunque yo escuchaba a alguien más que te estaba soplando, creo que era tu otro, tu otro yo. Okay, nice. Okay, do you think a couple should live together before marriage? Why? Why not? Or do you agree with marriage? Why or why not? Here we have two options. Select one or number two or select two questions. In my opinion, I like to hear both answers, if you please, si ustedes gustan. But if not, you can say just the answer of one question. Yo sé que algunos el pica, perdón, but because you have experienced different situations and that's really good. Porque ustedes no son adolescentes. You are not uh, 15 years old, boys or girls. You have lived uh, good and bad experiences. Okay? Like me. So, that's why we have, uh, like, very experienced opinions. Lo siento, que así es la vida. Okay, Rachel, comenzamos contigo. Porque I, I don't know why I consider that you have a good point of view about Por qué siempre yo primero. No eres la primera. ¿Por qué? Se, 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 se escuchó, con, bueno, se escuchó raro. Okay, well, the point is that I always ask to Carito. ¿Te da Carito que ves ahí? Te pregunto ahí. Así que, Rachel, no tiene fundamento eso. ¿Cómo no? Entonces, no, I am, I am always the first one. First, that's very good. It's your turn, Raquel. Yes, no. se, se, se pusieron de acuerdo con el outfit. Okay, so Raquel, please. Of course, absolutely. Okay, <laughs> that's uh -huh. better. Hasta, okay. Hasta le, le subí el audio. Uh -huh. um, I can say both questions. If you want, no problem for me. Okay, okay. First one. Do you think a couple should live together before marriage? Yes. Today is a common thing to do. I consider it's good to meet this person in mutual coexistence and be able to decide in a more consistent way if they Gaming can be formalized. 
Good. That's the third one. Do you agree with the marriage? Yes, I agree. If people are convinced to take that step, it is perfect. In my own experience, I lived in a free union with a person for six years and I never felt sure about getting married. Now, a few months after ending this relationship, I can be sure I made the best decision since it was easier for me because there was nothing legal, legal that would connect us both. And so, can I continue with my love without problems? And additionally, for this experience, help me a lot of not be in the, what? Independent. <laughs> me a lot of to be independent of this person. <laughs> okay, yes, I know it. Uh... Well, I don't know why. Uh, I know tranquila. Yes, you have experienced uh, different things. And that's why you can say, yes, I agree. No, I don't agree. Yes, I recommend. Okay. So thank you, Raquel. Uh, good for you. You, you, did, you did it good, really. Without something illegal, like uh, connecting you, it is easier for you to say bye if that is something toxic or something that is having like bad things to your life. Yeah. the problems and that is very easy just say bye-bye yes and believe it uh, to be with a person which you don't love or you're not sure that's something that uh, makes you feel stressful uh, yes. with low self-esteem your mental health is not good even your uh, body body language said so exactly Nice, very nice. Thank you, Raquel. Good. Um, let's listen now to okay, volunteer, ya que ya sabía que Raquel estaba cargadita ahí. Okay, so any other? Oscar, yes. And then Kenya. Yeah, experience. Okay. Come on. Okay, man. Power uh, man. Long, los okay, long okay. answer. Long answer. Go ahead. Uh, okay, the question is, can a couple live before marriage? Okay. Well, no, according to the law of God, no, I quit a uh, biblical verse in Hebrew, chapter 34, time saying, honorable, honorable marriage in all in the best without that's it why no no one can leave us a couple before marrying the okay. second question is do you agree with the marriage of course for the same reason say above uh, personal i am 20 21 year married 21 years married. Okay, congratulations. Yes, yes, yes. Good. What Great. is your secret? What is the secret, Oscar? You have to love, say the love, love, love. Love, love. Okay, that's nice. Bueno, a mí me decían eso y no se cumplió. Okay, Oscar. Well, nice, nice, <laughs> because uh, you say it by your experience, right? So that's really good. But something that is important to mention is that you are based, you are basing your opinion on spiritual or religion, right? And that's good. That's good because that's how families are, are educating the next generation. Even not all the couples share the same um, ideology, ph philosophy, religion on spiritual beliefs so that's it but in your opinion that's good and if that works for you si eso te funciona y ha estado bastante bien well nice for you okay nice espero que se pongan buenas las, las, los aniversarios Oscar hmm. don't forget that 
Good, good. Birthdays. Yes, please. Come on. Good. Thank you, Oscar. Very nice. We have Kenya y yo. Ah, yes. Eso bueno. Yes. Okay. So, okay, teacher. Please. I greet with marriage because it represents a blessing from God for the couple. So, yeah, it represents like, uh, well, uh, it represents like a strong connection, strong feeling in something that it's the basement. Es son como las bases, los fundamentos. is the basement for the family and all the projects that you can have with your couple, right? It is good if you feel it like that, okay? But if... And, that nobody is forced to do it. Nadie está obligado a hacerlo, obviamente. And if you are forced to do it, it means that it doesn't work. Quiere decir que no funciona. But if you agree, perfect. Nice. Me, okay, me, invitan, me invitan a la boda. Okay. Primero hay que conseguir el novio. Nada. <laughs> vamos a conseguir ahí. Ya vamos a ver. Okay. Bye. Bye. Chivo. Bye. Es Chivo. la tarea Chivo. que le dejo. Nah, let's, okay. <laughs> nice, que animal. Yeah. Okay. We have Joanna, Joanna's opinion. Okay. No sé por qué siento que ya se le fue el sueño a todos. Okay. No. <laughs> uh, yes, I think the best option is to lie together before getting married. Uh, I got married at my 19 and divorced at 30 years old. Thinking as I go to go in for life, but no. Do not get married while in love. Oigan bien. Love sometimes does not let you see the fault, fault we have and the and that is where the problem be, begin. Hey. Uh, get married when both bring fit. Get married when you understand can ask it forgiveness and forgiving is more important than the game right. Okay, nice. Uh, uh, a question, Joa. Two questions. Uh, it, no, no. Uh, you, are you going to continue? No, ya no. Okay. Um, no, a question from me to you. You uh, were you married? Yes. Yes. For how many years? Ten, ten years. Ten years. What? Yes. How old were you when you got married? You were like nineteen years old. Were you eighteen years old? When you got 19, married? 19. 19. You were a kid. You were a kid. Okay. Okay. Uh, bad decision. But tengo no. mis dos bebés. Okay. Uh, it is a decision at the time. Okay. And now you have like, like, like uh, well, a different uh, lifestyle, but it was okay. We are not saying that that was wrong. No estamos diciendo que está totalmente mal. Solo que you were very young. Estaba bien jovencito. Very young. Another way of thinking, another philosophy. Yes, Carito. You get married very young. I get married very, very old, but the result was the same disaster, totally disaster. Mm -hmm. So I think the age, it doesn't matter for in the end. The age you of start. Okay. It could be like a parameter. Puede ser como un parámetro, right? Eh, bio, biologically talking, hablando biológicamente, with anatomy for, for girls if they want to, to have kids. Eh, but what Carito says that you can be older than 19 years old and make mistakes. Puedes cometer errores casándote un poco mejor. So that's what Carito says. Okay. Very nice. Okay, Joa. Good experience. Good experiences and bad experiences, okay? So two kids, one marriage. So you are, you are divorced. Are you divorced? Or sometimes? No, divorced. Yes, I'm divorced, complete. Okay, very nice. Good for you. ¿Qué pasó, Raquel? Yes. <laughs> Se va a casar conmigo, dice. With you, okay. Please <laughs> invite, invite to the wedding. And this is getting weird. Okay. Eso parece que aquí hay boda. Okay. I'm ella no puede vivir sin mí. Hoy la dejé cuatro horas sin mí. Okay. Y ella estaba de llamarme. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, girls. Thanks, thanks for your opinion. Now, uh, what if we listen to a uh, man's opinion? I'd like to hear Luis. Okay, Luis. Vamos a escuchar a un joven con dinero okay. y esperando herencia. Okay, Luis. <laughs> So, okay, teacher. Do you think a couple should live together before marriage? Uh, my answer is not. From the biblical okay. point of view, it is not correct to be together before marriage because both men and women should arrive poor and married and give it themselves to each other for the first time once married. Okay. So your point is based similar to Oscar related to the religion, yes. right? Spiritual, yes. uh, spiritual decisions, right? Mm -hmm. That's it. Yes. And something that maybe could it be positive? I don't say that it is, but could it be that they are going to live new experiences at the same time? Okay. So yes. that's part of like uh, religion, marriage. Okay. And that's good if you find a person who thinks in the same way. Si, encuentras, si se encuentra personas con el mismo punto de vista o uh, paradigmas o filosofía, that's perfect. Okay. That, uh -huh, that's it. And, and that, that's why uh, you have that beliefs and, and relation. Good, please. Okay? Good. Okay. Thank you. We're going to listen to Elisa. I'm waiting for Elisa's point of view. Oh. Bueno. Bueno. You... Tomen ah, nota, dice. Apunten, no. apunten. Okay. Es, es poco, es corto. Ah, Do you on. think a couple to like together before marriage? I don't have a stance on the use. You see. Uh, I don't. Uh, ah. Or do you agree with marriage? So, to socially and religiously, marry is better. Personally, I don't care. Okay. Marry Personally, I don't care. Okay, so no, it doesn't matter no. to you. Okay, no, it's not a big deal. No, it's not a big deal. Okay, no, but, o sea, but llevo you can say 22 years. No matrimonio. No. no. <laughs> Ain't no, no future plans for marriage, right? No, no, no future. Okay. Mm, esperando que lo inviten a una boda. Estoy <laughs> I'm waiting for the invitation, believe it. Okay, para ir a bailar y comer. Okay, nice. Thank you. 22 years with your couple, Elisa. Okay. Good uh, okay. uh, relation. Relationship. Oh. Relationship. Relationship. Very nice. Okay. Yes. Uh, it should be agreement. Cuando hay acuerdos. When you go to agreement, get agreement with your couple, it's really nice. Okay. Not just uh, like having your opinion, smashing your couple's opinion, opinion como que tu opinión aplastando la, 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 la de tu pareja. No, I mean, yes, if you share, si ustedes comparten, if you share point of view, that's one of the most amazing. Yes, it's beautiful. Thank you, Alisa. Very nice. Okay, perfect. What if we listen now to Gabriel and then Rosie? Okay, Gabriel. Okay, teacher. In my opinion, the people are are feeling to choose but not for me uh, if it is religious maria that if from god it is divine and that oscar if Perfect. Um, I am Miriam and I thank God for that. Okay. Very I, nice. have, I have Miriam 14 years and I am happy. Okay, good. Gabriel, 40 or 14? 
No, 14. 14. Ah, 14. 14. Sí, 40 años casado. What? No. Ok. Uh, ok. 40. Yes. Uh, 40. 14. I'm sorry. 14 years of marriage. And that's good. Well, uh, interesting and very nice. I like to hear. I love to hear when people say that they have been together, even they are married or not. It doesn't. Well, in, in my point of view, if you live together and you love each other, that's perfect. But a long relationship is really good to, to listen. Okay. I need the secret though. Gabriel and... Carito, yes. you are asking of secrets to a love, okay? So you're going to I write need, a book. I need the secret. You need the secret, okay. Después le, va, le, le van a dar asesoría ahí a Carito. Okay, nice. Well, Rosie, and then we continue with the class porque ya estamos hablando mucho como que es terapia grupal. Okay, Rosie. Hi, teacher. And the first question uh, for me is no, because in the Bible say no. Will a couple show travel and not her family? And second question um, for me is yes, I agree, because a couple compliment her other, a man or a woman, is not the happiness of their other person. Hmm. Okay, nice. So you, your opinion is based, su opinión está basada, está basada on religion, on spiritual uh, marriage, yeah. right? Okay, very yeah. nice. And, and that's, that's, that's really good, okay? As, as I told you before, como le dije antes, it is good when you find a person and you connect. You, you have la, la, like, uh, what? Yes, well, when you have the same ideas or similar ideas. And that's really good. Thank you. Okay, we're going to continue. Después seguimos con la terapia. By the moment, por el momento, seguimos con this. Okay. Remember that yesterday we talked about um, the use of present continuous, right? And of course, here we have present continuous. Okay, here we have this for present. That is something that we are studying now, lo que estamos estudiando. Yesterday, we reviewed present continuous for future events, right? Now here we have this, okay? Um, so now, here we have this same chart. Tenemos el mismo cuadrito, okay? So if you notice, uh, this is like affirmative. Ahora vamos a trabajar con las negatives. We're going to start with negatives. Look at this. Vean eso. Don't forget, we are going to use verb be. Vamos a utilizar el verb be. No olviden eso. And obviously, we're going to use not. Not. And then the verb is ing. Después el verbo con ing. Why are we going to use negative? Because affirmatives are so easy. Las afirmativas son for babies, right? No problem for that. But we're going to start with negatives. And also, here we have this. Tenemos también eh, the verbs. Recuerden que siempre vamos a agregarles ing. Esa es la característica. Something characteristics of the grammar structure. Okay? That's it. Perfect. So now we're going to check worksheet. And we're going to use negatives. Negatives for this. Porque es fácil decir, um, he's smoking a, cig a cigar. They are playing football. Yeah, but we're going to use it as a negative. So in this case, we're going to use a, well, I will need Adonai's opinion and then Mardo, okay? Select one, Adonai, negative. And I, it is in number one, okay? I sense it or I share. Mm, okay. Aquí están los negativos. ¿eh? Okay. I'm not. Okay. I'm not sit on share. Okay. I am not. Uh, sorry. Sitting on a chair. Okay. Uh, Mardo and then Carito. Number two. Okay. He is not smoking a cigar. Yes. Thank you. Okay, Carito.
No te escucho, Karina. Estás hablando con tu conciencia. Number eight. Yeah. You are not eating an apple. Yes. An apple. Yeah, perfect. Very good. Now let's listen to um, Elisa and then we're going to listen to Carlita. Okay. Number, number seven. Yeah. We are not walking to work. Okay. Walking, walk, walk, como walking. China walk. Walking, yes, that's walking. it. Walking. Walking, como The Walking Dead, por si han visto la serie. Que buenísima, okay. su primera temporada. You know. Okay, and let's listen to Carly, right, Carly, and then we go with Oscar. Okay. They, they are not playing football. Okay. Very nice. Thank you. Oscar, your turn. And after Oscar, we're going with Carlos. Uh, number nine. Nine. Uh -huh. uh, they are running out of the park. Hmm? Pero como es negativa. Uh, no, no. They are not. They are not running, running. Okay. Running in the park. Okay, thank you. Okay, who's next? A quien tenemos, si no me equivoco, era. Okay, Carlos, please. And then Wilfred. Then I, I am not waiting for the food. Okay, I am not waiting. For the bus. Sorry, okay. Too. Very in very nice. Uh, thank you, Carlos. Okay, Wilfredo, and then we go with Jackie. Si está por ahí. Uh, six. Six. Okay. Both. Both. Uh, are really. Mm, es tercera persona. Es como que digo. Uh, como que dijéramos he. Uh, he. Is. Ajá. But is read, reading a book. Pero con más negativa. No. No. Es no. Sí, no olviden book. eso. Estamos trabajando con negativas porque las afirmativas son fáciles. Ok, thank you very much. Jackie, are you there? Uh, oh, five. Five. And then Elisa. Mm -hmm. Okay, Annie mm -hmm. is not writing a le letter. Thank you. Okay, Ellie, number four. Okay, it is not crying. Raining. Ah, uh -huh. mm -hmm. raining, como decía mal, un maestro. Que tenía raining. Okay, perfect, my friends. But we have more. So in this case, I will need Raquel para que no diga que es la primera. Then William. Always negative, negative. Okay, Raquel. Uh... Ay, no alcanzo a ver, a ver, quiero ver. Raquel, come on. Yeah, <laughs> the number two. Um, negative, siempre estamos con los negativos. Uh, we are not to play in a computer game. We are not to play in. To play a computer game. Oh. Playing, Raquel. We are not play. We are not play. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Bien. El I'm two. Sorry. No problem. El two siempre lo van a encontrar porque es la forma infinitiva. Es como ustedes lo encuentran en el diccionario o en, en, en cualquier, ¿qué? En un traductor, o oh, perdón, en un diccionario en línea. 
to watch to play uh, to olvídenlo como que no está ahí okay nice William your turn and after William will listen to Steffi okay number one okay uh, Alexander is a uh, uh, sorry Alexander is no watching a film. Thank you. Okay, who's next? Um, Steffi, creo que era. Steffi and then Adonai. Number four. Okay, Peter. Pe Peter is not feeding. Uh huh. His rabbits. No, está alimentando sus conejos. Thank you. Adonai. And then uh, we go with Carito. Hmm? Six. Mary is his. She. Mary, she is not washing her hair. Okay. Mary is not washing. Thank you. Carito, your turn. And then we go with Kenya. Okay, number seven. I am not talking to Doris. Okay, I'm not talking to Doris. Okay, Kenya, your turn, and then we go with Wilfredo. Okay, teacher. Um, three, three. The dog are mm. the, the dog is uh, the dog is uh, to barking. Oh. Not uh, not barking. Barking at, at the cat. The cat. Oh. And Wilfredo, are you there? And ah. then Carly again. Ah, permítame, Adonai, tú ya, ya me participaste, Adonai. Yes. Okay. Sure. Okay, good. Wilfredo and then Carly. Five teacher. Yeah, go. Philip and Johnny. Philip and Johnny are not uh, sing, singing a song. a song. Bien. Wilfredo, go. Are, porque es Philip and John. No solo es Philip ni Johnny. Philip and John. Very nice. Okay, Carly, ready? And then Luis. Okay, Peggy is Darwin a pinto. Uh, Peggy is, is, como es negativa? Not, it's not Darwin, perdón. Drawing. Drawing. It's not drawing. Okay, good. Okay, who's next? Uh, here we have also, can you have Luis? No. Okay, teacher number 10. Uh, you are not uh, learning the poem by heart. By, by heart. 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 By heart. Bien, cuando usted, thank you, cuando dicen aprendérselo by heart, es aprendérselo en memoria. You mm. are not learning the poem by heart. No te los estás aprendiendo de memoria. O sea, no es de corazón. Is, is, is the memory okay, learning by heart okay and then we're going to listen to Rosie the last one number nine Henry and his sister uh, Henry and her Henry and his sister are not helping their mother yes helping their mother good my friends well done Bien hecho. Okay. And we're going to, to finish almost. Solo nos quedan 13 minutos. Okay. So we continue. No, continuamos con la terapia nuevamente. And we're going to listen to Carly. Okay, Carly. Your, your turn. Cualquiera de las dos puedo contestar. Yes. La que te oh. diga tu corazón. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, do you agree with Marriott? Uh, will teach, teach? I am great with uh, Marriott because it's a mandate of bad and also because in think that it's a beautiful time. Okay, nice. So, are you married, Carly? Eso te entendí. Yes, I'm married. No. We, yes. Okay, very nice. So, by your experience, just saying that it's a beautiful experience, a beautiful time. Okay. Thank you, Carly. Very nice. Okay, we're listening now to um, Adonai. Ready? Yes. Okay, please. The first question, my opinion is, I think no, but first, get to now is over well. Second, upper your eyes wide. Third, have an own maturity to face this great challenge, uh, obstacles that will happen. A question, the question second, of course, I very much agree that if you love someone, it is very important okay. to do things with and it orders. Okay, very interesting answer. Thank you. Okay. So yes, you, you need mature, necesitas madurez, okay, mature, to accept or to give the step, okay? Thank you, and Carito, show time. Teacher, today I, I want to give the opportunity to my partners okay. to talk. I know, they have been talking, han estado hablando, so it's your turn. <laughs> okay. Teacher, let me see. Cuéntenos, cuéntenos. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you think couple a couple should live together before marrying? Totally. After getting married, it's hard to separate. And more, most of the time after marriage, things change and a lot. It's not like a Disney fairy tale. And well, you get disappointed. So I think it's a good idea to try before giving that step for life. Okay, good. Hmm? Hmm. And do you agree with uh, Maris? Do you agree with Maris? I did too. No. Why not? Tell us why not. No era, no se puede contestar solo una. It is not to disappoint the young people of this group, but well, no, and left so in this time of so much infidelity and lack of commitment, marriages are no longer like before. Okay. I am not going to say anymore. Okay. Um, Carolina says that now it is not too much commitment, no hay mucho compromiso, fidelity, and there are a lot of uh, situations which affect marriage. That's why, she's, that's why she says that she doesn't believe in marriage, so she doesn't agree. And she also says that it's not a fairy tale, que no es un cuento de hadas from Disney. So, well, that's part of Carito's opinion, right? Yeah. By experience. When I was young, I maybe I would answer like other people like, oh yeah, it's I want it to, I beauty. Want it I want to, yes. Okay. Well, no. well, that's part of different opinions Life. and ideas. Mm -hmm. That's different it. experience. Yeah, different experience. It doesn't mean that marriage is not going to work. It's not, it doesn't matrimonio no va a funcionar. So that's 
Caritos opinions that's uh, like uh, very different from uh, Raquel, from Kenya, from Greece or, or whoever. Or yes, be, so. be, because we have uh, two very good examples like Oscar and Carlos, I think. Yes, okay, Gabriel. Successful and... stories of love. Yes, uh, I love to hear that. Well, and we have yeah. to learn from the others experiences. Que aprender de las otras experiencias, and that's it. Okay. Thank you, Carito. Very you. nice. Good. Perfect. William, what about you? Okay, teacher. Um, and Stephanie. Do you think a couple should live together before marriage? Mm -hmm. Um I think that have I have to to be first go through the courtship stakes and then be able to get married and live together. But I I think it's no all bad that is happens before marriage. Okay, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Um, the second question, do you agree with the Maria? Yes, I agree with the Maria. And I think about getting married one day, but first I want to achieve my personal goals. Wow, that's, that's really important. Y esto yeah. tiene una repercusión tan grande en las vidas, okay? Personal goals. You have your objectives in life, you have your goals. And when you achieve, maybe not all of them, but at least the half, cuando usted alcanza por lo menos la mitad de los objetivos, you have like a, another uh, point of view of the things and you have more stability. Y pueden tener más estabilidad. There's something that affects yeah, this is my opinion, teacher. Good, very nice, very nice. Thank you. Good. And what about if we listen to Steffi? And after Steffi, para ir terminando ya, we go with Carlos. Okay, Steffi. I am not uh, going to marry, but for me, it is not sometimes necessary. So, no marriage for you? No. No. Okay, no marriage is something that no. is not necessary. That's it. Very nice. Steffi says no. Okay, así que no piensen, que no piensen en proponerse. Good. Carlos, what about you? Okay, my opinion is yes. Because it is when you go, bring love to fit an author win. One you see beautiful moment by the day. Okay, very nice. Yes, of course. You can live beautiful moments with the marriage, or maybe if you live before marriage. Okay, thank you. And Wilfredo, ya se nos quedan cuatro minutos para finalizar la clase. Things good for us. Uh, uh, it's called the common law for the reason of strengthening the ties between the two parents. Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you, my friend. Edwin, are you there? Is that for Edwin? So maybe he's having some problems, but he's having the problems. Jackie? No, Jackie. Okay, uh, Marto, creo, creo que está out. Okay, so let me see who's left. Okay, I have seen a lot of cases in my life. He visto tantos casos, tantos, y ustedes también. And you too, right? Some successful marriages, algunos matrimonios exitosos, but it's like low quantity in these times. It's uh, like a very, it's a small percentage. It has to do with a lot of things, the way we have educated, the way we see life, the stereotypes we have, 
uh, the influence that we have in our families, by our families, our friends, a lot of things, right? But I personally consider that if you feel free, if you feel like almost complete with a person or alone with marriage or not, uh, with kids or with cats, with pets, with whatever you do, yeah, it's okay. As it's for example, wedding, si están de acuerdo con las bodas, there are some people that they, even they don't get married, they go and travel around the world and they're happy. And there are some other people that they have like a beautiful wedding. Hay otros que tienen una boda hermosa. And that's perfect. Okay, that's depends on the couple, depends on every single human being, depende de cada ser humano. Okay, todos pensamos diferentes. We have like a big universe in every, in every mind, in every. Okay. Teacher, excuse me. Yes, Oscar, please uh, activate the microphone. Uh, yep. They say, um, remember there are heavenly love, um, earthly love. Hay leyes celestiales y leyes terrenales. Okay, very nice. Ah. Solamente que eso quería decir. Okay, very nice. Thank you for, for your opinion, Oscar. That, that's, that's really Hola, important. teacher. Hello, teacher. Yes, Gabriel. Um, my secret is unconditional love. Unconditional love. That's... Uh, my secret is unconditional love. Or unconditional love. That's great. And I hope you can continue like that people who are married or people who are living with, with your couple, with your, your family. Okay, continue. That's the, well, that, that's beautiful. Okay, thank you for all your opinions. It's time to say goodbye. I'm going to check the, the list. Sé que quieren eh, seguir eh, con el, se llama, con la catarsis, but lax, imaginémonos. And we check the attendance list. Um, Andres, no, right? Uh, Carlos, hello. Hello, teacher. Yeah. Carito, thank you. I'm still here, teacher. You're still there crying. Nah, kidding. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry, Carito. Ay, le puedo, le, le puedo dar terapia a cada uno. Okay, Edwin. Hello. No, I don't know. But we have problems. Elisa. Eli. Good night, teacher. <laughs> Good lesson. Good night. La, el tono que usa. Elisa. Okay, uh, Steffi. Chica que no se casa. Uh -huh. Okay, nice. Gabriel? Nunca. Present. Okay, Gabriel, que tiene un secreto. Okay, Jackie, I don't know, Jackie, eh, Patty, Boo, Joa. Aquí estoy. Estás, okay. Carly. Hello, Carly. Te veo cansadito, Carly. Okay, Kenia. Sí, algo. Present. Sí, Me duele la cabeza. Okay, I'm Teacher, so ahí me toca quedarme o no? Uh, Kenya, a ti, sí, Kenya, yes. Okay. Luis. Present teacher. Nice. Mardo. Oscar. Present teacher. Nice. Raquel. Present. Present. So, uh, Rosie. <laughs> William. Hi, teacher. Nice. Marvin. Present teacher. Present. Okay. Present teacher. Okay. See you, my friends. Sueño con el matrimonio o sin matrimonio, no. pero pasen la vida. No. Ok. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. Antes Bye. de casarse hay que disfrutar. Ok. 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 okay. Ah, oh. Estoy soltera, así que tengo que disfrutar ahorita. Que nos quedamos dos horas más con el oh. tema. Okay. Bueno, yes. no, 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 lo veo bonito así y ha ido a bodas así, pero ahorita no, ahorita no. Carlita, no voy a dormir mejor. Don't get married. Ok, nice. No compliquen. Ah, ok, complicate. no me voy a complicar entonces. No. Vamos a seguir con este tema. We want to continue with. Uh, Consejo. <laughs> Cuando encuentres al galán, haces una fiesta divina, pero no te casas. Te pones oh, tu vestido okay. blanco, tus flores, tu pastel. Ok. No te cases. Oh, Completamente oh. de acuerdo. Ok. <risa> nice. Nice. Ok. Bye bye. Ya es modo dolorido, hombre. <risa> ok, good night. Good night, good night.
también inquieto. Va, el tema. Yes, topic, interesting topic. Lo va a tomar en cuenta. Ok, that's perfect. Mañana será la soltería el, el, el tema. Yes, mañana va a ser la soltería. We want to talk about it. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. See bye, you. grupo. Bye. Bye. Okay, Kenya, uh, is there something that you need we have to review? Consideras que hay algo que tengamos que revisar? Any topic, maybe vocabulary, um, or maybe conversations, or if you want, I we can have a short interview. Podemos tener una entrevista pequeña. ¿Qué decides? Okay. A mí me cuesta todavía este eh, las pronunciaciones por eso es que a veces le pregunto y todo eso verdad pronunciaciones uh, te recuerdas si sí, en conversaciones en oraciones más que son... todo son palabras palabritas porque okay. yo siento que ya 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 voy más más como que ya el habla ya ya es más fluido verdad yes yes sí, lo he notado Sí, pero al principio that. todavía me trababa. <laughs> y yes. hoy ya siento que ya va más fluido. I know, I know. Eh, sí, fíjate que he visto, digamos, pues una, una mejoría en mm -hmm. la mayoría de ustedes. Y en ti he visto que ahora tienes más seguridad. Y me alegra, sí. me alegra. Sí. Poco a poco se va mejor. Ok, vamos a probar algo. Ok, teacher. We're going to try this conversation, ok. Vamos a trabajar en un, dos, tres conversaciones ahorita. Perfect. Okay. Y después vamos a ver qué tal. Si empiezo okay. a subrayar palabras, tú tranquila, no pasa nada. Tú sigue con la conversación, no pongas atención a lo que subrayo, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, uh, I start. Good afternoon, Raúl. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Where I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the main room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What is the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. No, uh, a.m. Mm -hmm. And the first thing I do is to take me, my email yeah. and, and you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on the traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay, yeah. now we change. Ahora cambiamos. Tú eres Ryan. Okay. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the middle room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What, what the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 7.30 a.m. And the first things I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letter. letters. Okay, good. Letters. Bien, vamos a practicar esto. Doing, doing. doing. Doing a, our, 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 me, our meeting, meeting, no. solo meeting, meeting, sin Eva. Okay, sin, meeting, sin qué, sin la G, si no me sí, equivoco. La G, la G, si toda la G al final se pronuncia. Doing, okay. meeting, okay. do, do, arrive, arrive. Uh -huh. Ah, ese siempre me olvida. All right. Okay. Ya noté que esta, esta este, palabra te costó un poquito. 
Ajá, porque desde hoy me tocó con Raquel Asaya, me dijo, judo. Escucha esta canción, esta canción es muy bonita. Ah. Love me like you do. Ahorita, Se te va a pegar el tú. De verdad. Bye. Sí, ¿Eh? te, te va a gustar esa canción, ¿ok? Love, uh, love me like you do. You do. Okay. Es bonita. It's really a really good song. I like it. So, um, eh, vamos otra vez. Doing. Doing. Our. Our. Meeting. Meeting. Do. Do. Arrive. All right. Okay, very nice. All right. Okay. okay. Uh, let me let me find another. I have to. Yes, the conversation we have yesterday. We're going to practice it. See we have it. Okay. The last practice. Vamos a la última práctica. Okay, teacher. Uh, I'm sorry. Just not this one. Okay. Uh, comienzo. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Peter, Eva. Yeah. Well, well, Maria is about Julie is attending the conference this year too so i see but if julie is attending who is delivering the presentations for the ceo next week guess what i am i am presenting with hector the new accountant sounds great so i am informing the committee about it Ahora tú comienzas. okay hello henry i have a question who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So. I see. But is Julie is attending, who is delivering the present presentation for the CEO next week. Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Shows great. So I am informing the comments about it. Okay, good. Vamos. Accountant. Accountant. Sounds. Sounds. Committee. Committee. Accountant. 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 Yes. Sounds. Sounds. Committee. Committee. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay. Um, vamos a. La cuestión es siempre practicar. Este, Genia, yo considero que tú tienes eh, la habilidad del inglés y yo veo que te gusta, ¿verdad? Eh, okay, que lo captas, entonces eh, recomendaciones de siempre escucha música en inglés y aprendete los coros, los coros son lo importante okay. porque se te queda, porque toda la letra sí, te la puedes aprender pero los coros es cuando vos escuchas tal canción inconscientemente tu cerebro lo está repitiendo y cuando vos repetís palabras ahí es donde ya no se te olvida Sí, fíjese que la verdad que hoy últimamente desde que he comenzado con lo del inglés he estado con eso de que he estado bajando bastante música en inglés a mí me gusta, sinceramente uh -huh. me gusta el pop, me gusta la romántica, hasta un rock así como Bon Jovi Sí, me gusta Black, metal. Black Metal eh, Guns N' Roses, verdad así. Ajá, pero que Ahorita estoy más que todo escuchando la romántica, que es la que más lento va. El, 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 lo que es la sí, bu busca, busca música romántica de Whitney Houston, Celine Dion, ah, cancioncitas uh -huh. tranquilas de Mariah Carey. Hay bastantes buenas ahora. Poco a poco vas a ir avanzando en, por ejemplo, la música pop de ahora. Para comparar lo de Madonna, es un poco diferente a Dual. Ahora que es un poquito más rápida, entonces eh, ya cantan más rápido y es muy bueno. Ahora, a lo que voy es que tienes que ir escuchando 
y pronunciando Kenia, porque no es lo mismo solo escuchar y no No, 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 exactamente. Yo lo que busco, eh, lo que hago es eh, buscar el video junto con, sí, con su, la letra. La letra, ajá, pero en inglés, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Eh, entonces, sí, apréndetela, apréndete los coros eh, de varias canciones, porque cada artista tiene una pronunciación diferente. diferente. Eso, eso te va a ayudar. Lo otro es que cuando vayas a dar tu opinión acá, siempre en las speaking activities, te sugiero que te grabes. Grábate durante la tarde o el mediodía cuando tengas tiempo y te escuchas. Okay. Vas a ir adaptándote a tu voz. Porque siempre nosotros decimos que mi voz se escucha rara y todo, pero ya después cuando aceptas tu voz y te vas adaptando, créeme que vas a sentir una gran conexión con la que estás diciendo. Eso ah. me ha ayudado bastante. Porque yo antes, yo siempre he sentido que tengo una voz bien distorsionada, bien fea. Pero a medida, a medida Igual que... yo me siento como que tuviera una voz chillona. Le tengo Eso, que... todos, to... mira, Kenia, a nadie, a nadie de los jamás le va a gustar su voz. Ya. Por más que uno le diga, ay, qué bonita voz tenés. No, es mentira, es mentira. Ah, Nosotros ya. decimos, ajá, gracias, pero no. Entonces, el mentira. grabarte y el escucharte, después lo que necesitas es aceptar tu voz y ya tenés una personalidad en el inglés, y, y ya la tomás este, con un poquito más, más natural. Tienes okay, que naturalizar teacher. y normalizar eso, ¿verdad? Así que ánimo, Kenia, este, okay, ¿verdad? Thank continúa you. así, ¿verdad? Así que me alegra mucho que estés avanzando. Ok, thank you, teacher. Ah, y hasta, ayer hice el examen en la noche. Ok, sí, <ríe> Porque, sí. Sí, lastimosamente pues tenía un retiro desde el jueves, y este, de parte de la iglesia. Sí, sí, sí. Y, eh, y este, lo, lo notifiqué, por cierto. Ya solo, solo me falta ver esos dos videos porque lo, como este, sé que están en la plataforma. Es mañana sí, a... Kenia, yo sé que también han tenido ciertas dificultades, pero ánimo, ¿verdad? Ánimo, y ahí estamos para echar la mano. ¿eh? Espero que te, okay. gusta, te esté gustando la clase, Kenia. Sí, es la eso. verdad que cada día voy aprendiendo más y más y más. Qué me alegra. Pero cualquier cosa... Pues yo le escribo si tengo una, alguna duda. No hay problema. Of course, ahí estamos para apoyar. ¿Verdad, Kenia? Bueno, Te me cuidas entonces. Bye bye. Bye bye.